What's up guys, today I'm gonna teach you guys how you can create this sick shining glow effect in After Effects, let's go. My name is Devin Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. As I mentioned in the beginning today, I'm gonna teach you guys how you can create this sick, shining glow effect. It's a really cool effect that you can use for music videos or any other projects you're working on. It works great for emphasizing objects or people in your video, so it's just a really cool effect and it's really, really simple to recreate. Today, all you'll be needing is After Effects, no plugins required. But really quick, before we hop into the tutorial, if you're looking to spice up your video edits, definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net. There, we seriously spill all the sauce. And I'm gonna say spill the sauce, I'm spilling it everywhere. We create preset packs ranging from title cards presets all the way to Lightroom presets. They're really simple and easy to use and they really help spice up your edits without you having to put in any of the hard long editing hours. We just dropped our new paint preset pack and that pack is absolutely insane. Look, I'll show you. I literally drew and hand draw all of these individual paint animations and animated them and created a bunch of sick overlays that you can use for your edits. It comes with over 50 presets and it's really simple to use, literally just drag and drop. Seriously guys, I pour my heart and soul into these preset packs and I really created them as just something I wish I had when I started out. So if you're definitely interested, make sure to check out 11%.net. It really mean the world. Without further ado though, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. All right guys, now that we're finally inside of After Effects, have your clip loaded up. Right here I have a nice clip of a chain. The first effect that we're going to apply is going to be a very, very simple glow glow real we're gonna drag this glow just standard after effects glow onto here and immediately it's gonna look terrible don't worry we're gonna change some things so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your radius and you're gonna increase this to something like 50 or 60 and now to get rid of this ugly orangish color or whatever color it's affecting in your clip we're going to go ahead and we're going to change the glow colors to a and b colors now your original a color is going to be set to a bright white to make this color more personal to your clip we're going to go ahead and hit the eyedropper tool and we're going to select a color or like there's like this like pinkish color right here and we're going to make a color we're going to find a color that fits more more your clips style. So you can go ahead and change that to, you know, whatever color you prefer. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to around the very beginning of the clip or a couple frames after your clip starts and we're gonna set a keyframe at the glow threshold and we're going to change it. We're gonna set it to a really high value, something like 70 or 80% until all the glow goes away. And then we're gonna go a couple frames after, a couple frames in, and we're going to set that all the way to zero, almost 0% 0 for the glow threshold. And that way, when you play it out, you can see we have this crazy effect where the glow kind of starts inward and it moves outward to the edges of the camera. I'm gonna hit the drop down on the effects and the drop down on the glow just so I can get a better view of this. And of course, just mess around with these keyframes until you get a nice animation. I kind of want mine really fast. And once you have this nice little animation done, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fade out this glow. So I'm gonna set a keyframe at the glow intensity right before the glow threshold reaches the edges. And I'm gonna go a couple frames after and set the intensity to zero. So if you play it out, you can see the glow starts inward and it kind of just slowly fades away. And now once we have this initial glow applied, we're gonna go ahead to our effects and presets and search for our main effect, which is gonna be CC light rays. So we're gonna type CC light rays into the um, effects and presets and we're gonna search and we're gonna go ahead and grab the CC light rays and apply this to our main comp. Now you're gonna see it's gonna create this nice little light bulb dot right right here, but you're just gonna go ahead and drag it to the chain or whatever subject you're trying to light up. And you can see it's already doing a pretty good job. If you drag it anywhere on the chain, it's creating a nice little edge ray effect. And basically how it's doing that is if you increase the radius, it's just basically warping a really large version of the video clip above it. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna animate it. So right after this glow, I wanna have it kind of like pop and like go across the chain. So right after this glow hits, like right around here at this keyframe, I'm going to hit a keyframe at the center, the center keyframe, and I'm going to make sure that my glow, my light rays are at the very left hand side of my subject. I'm going to go a couple frames in and then I'm just going to drag that keyframe all the way to the other end of my subject. So that way when you play it out, you see we have this nice glow, like shine effect that just goes across the chain and it looks pretty cool. And now just like we did with the first glow, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that fades out as well. So I'm gonna hit a keyframe at the intensity right before it reaches the end of the chain. And I'm just going to go a couple frame keyframes after and set that intensity to zero. Now once you play that out, you can see the, the shine goes across the chain and just fades out and looks pretty cool. And then also of course, don't forget, let's make sure that it doesn't appear before the actual clip as well. So I'm going to go ahead and once again, let me go hit this drop down just so I can get a better view. I'm going to hit a keyframe right here at this intensity at 100 right before this threshold glow starts. I'm going to go a couple frames before and I'm just going to set this intensity to zero so that we don't see that, that nice shine before the glow even starts. And now you can see we have this sick effect. The glow just kind of like goes everywhere on the screen and just blows up. And then there's this nice little shine on the chain right here. Now, if you're looking, of course, 
course, to spice things up, I'd recommend definitely making sure to check out the Sapphire plugin. Sapphire has this really cool effect plugin, which is called Glint, Sapphire Glint right here. And I can go ahead and apply this to my chain and it'll create these nice, super sick, like glints, glint effects pretty much. Of course, I'm gonna wanna make sure that I apply this glint effect before my glow, um, just so that it doesn't like go overkill. And you can already see with Sapphire, that's a dope way to just spice it up even more. Now, of course, if you don't have Sapphire and you don't have the budget for Sapphire because Sapphire is quite expensive, here's an alternative way you can achieve that same glint effect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Command D to duplicate my bottom layer. I'm gonna hit Command D one more time. So hit Command D twice, to, so we have three duplicates of this glow. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come to my effects and presets, and I'm gonna search for directional blur. And I'm gonna apply this directional blur to the top two layers. So one and two, we applied it, boom, there we go. I'm gonna set the topmost layer direction to 45. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that blur length to something like, let's do like 49, almost 50. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this blending mode. I'm gonna click on this blending mode right here from normal. And if you don't see this, you can hit toggle switch modes and then that would just help show you the different blending modes. And I'm gonna change this to a nice screen and that's gonna make everything super bright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also hit the drop down and hit the transform and I'm just gonna change the opacity to something like 60% so we can see what's going on at least. And then I'm just gonna do the exact same thing for the bottom layer. So that, that bottom second layer, I'm gonna change this blur length right here to about 50. And then I'm just going to once again, change this direction to 45, but I'm gonna instead change this one to negative 45 so that contrast and it creates a nice little cross here. And I'm gonna change the blending mode to screen. Of course, hit the drop down on transform, set the opacity to like 50%. And that way you can see it just made everything a lot brighter for sure, but it created these nice little glints. If you could see them, the little crosshairs. And if you wanna increase the amount of that crosshair, you can always just increase the blur length to something way larger so that you can see those crosshairs. And it's just overall a really, really cool, sick way to add some extra glow. And, and glint and star filter to your effects. Of course, don't copy this tutorial down to the nitty gritty details. Mess around with the settings, make it yours and make it unique. And with that guys, here's the final result. If you guys made it to the end of the video, I just wanna say thank you again so much for watching. If you found any help or value from this video, please be sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe. It means the world to me in this channel. And once again, if you're looking to spice up your edits, definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net. Seriously guys, we're dropping preset packs there constantly. Honestly, I'd say it's one of the best investments any video editor can make because as you know, we have no time. And nowadays, video editing turnaround timelines are not getting any longer. So if you're interested, definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.